Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is time for Tackle My TBR. Welcome back, guys. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Thank you all for your support of my channel. So, what did I read last week? Well, it was pretty much normal. Two books read, completed, and the first one was Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. My sister first brought this book to my attention because she had heard stuff about it, like it's really going to just blow your mind when you read it, and you know, it's not something you're going to be able to come back from easily. You're not going to, it's like, you know, book hangover and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I went and purchased the book and I think I've had it for um, not quite a whole year yet. And it was sitting there on my TBR and I said, you know what, I'm going to pick this one up and read it. And wow, um, in this store we're, we're following Jason and his wife. Well, not so much his wife, Danella, but mostly Jason. And they're just sitting there having a quiet evening at home and... Um, one of his buddies is celebrating a promotion, and she says, go ahead, I know you want to go. So he decides to go to the celebration for just a little bit, and on his way back home, he is attacked, and he's knocked out. And when he wakes up, he is laying on, on a gurney, and he is just not who everybody thinks he is. Um, his wife is no longer his wife, his son was never born, um, just all these things and he can't figure out what's going on. And you know when you're in a situation like that, you, you have to imagine you start feeling like you're going crazy. And he did not want to feel like that. Who is he going to talk to? Um, and how is he going to deal with this new personality that he is in other people's eyes? And it was actually brilliant, the, the whole plan of this book, when it comes full circle and you finally find out what's going on. And um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed the story. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, I'm just sorry that I waited so long to read this book. Um, I ended up reading this book four stars. And um, yeah, I absolutely loved it. Loved it. The next book that I read last week was The Only One Left by Rowley Sager. Now, I tried to read this book earlier in the month, and I just, for some reason, it wasn't, it wasn't getting my attention. And I think what it was is because I had just read, um, I just read The Gallery of the Dead by Chris Carter. And I really can get a book hangover from reading Chris Carter. And I think that's why I couldn't get into it. And I ended up picking up more than this instead. So I decided to get back to this one. I knew I wanted to read it because I do like Riley Sager. And the beginning of the book is just, it's a little slow when it gets started. And I think that's what my issue was with that. But let me tell you, that picks up and it ends up being a really, really good story. Uh, now, this one played with my mind a little bit more than what Dark Matter did. But um, we're following Kit, and um, Kit is like a healthcare provider. She She's not qualified for nursing and that kind of stuff, but, you know, she takes care of, of you know, people in their homes, like little things. She can't do, like, you know, the real big stuff. She took care of her mother. Um, for quite a while when she took ill and now she is taking care of Lenora Hope. Now this, it even says on the book um, how this has um, Lizzie Borden, Borden feels to it. Y'all know the Lizzie Borden story um, and the, the Lizzie Borden was never um, accused or convicted or anything of the murder of her family. Um, same in this one, Lenora Hope is the villain, and she, they never found enough evidence, you know, for her uh, to convict her of killing her family. So now Kit, she works for this 
nasty man and he's just really mean to her and he sends her over here to Lenora Hope to take care of her to be someone to you know to look after her and um, she takes a job because she needs the money and she finds herself trying to figure out um, is Lenora Hope actually guilty or is she actually innocent and the story just kind of that's that's what it picks up on is her trying to investigate and figure out you know who is she, who is she what did she do is she innocent is she guilty and then in the meantime somebody else turns up dead and she's kind of trying to figure out what the heck is going on so um yeah this was up and down roller coaster this one was and some really unexpected twists in this book and I loved that I loved the characters I liked Kit's character I liked Lenora's character it's just it was it was just really well written and questioning the entire time you're reading it trying to figure out what's going on so um, I also rated that one four stars and you know it just started out slow for me it picked up really well so if you started and it's kind of slow for you don't let that put you off like it did me the first time so yeah that one was really good and then I picked up a good girl complex by L Kennedy and I'm about 30% through that one right now um, I you guys know I enjoy L Kennedy's writing um, they do get spicy, but the storylines are fabulous in her books. Um, she writes mostly like college campus stories, um, which, you know, that one's, that's starting to get a little, I don't know, monotonous for me reading the college stuff. Um, but I, like I said, I like her stories. So, so anyway, that is what I read last week. What did you guys read last week? Let me know down in the comments below. Or if you read any of these books that I talked about today, let me know your thoughts of those as well. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.